Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. I've received many requests on how to deploy a full stack application. So this is what we are going to do in this video. Without further ado, let's begin. As you can see in the screen, we are going to deploy this application on render. And as you can see on my GitHub account, I have the project folder. So you see, I have created especially the deploy folder. Okay. So I will deploy this folder and pay attention to package.json ES config file. Okay. So this is the distribution. It's, it is not mandatory. So I leave the example so that you can see. So the .env.example, this is what we're going to need to run in localhost. Okay. And uh, this is all the variables you will need, database, so DNV, port, and so on. Okay. And um, after that, so if you see the backend folder, so this backend folder I'm using on localhost. Okay. So you will also pay attention with the tsconfig file and uh, the package.json. And now we move to render. You can log in with your GitHub account or subscribe. And I will create a new web service. And here are my listed projects. So I will need to bring, I mean, to configure GitHub in order to bring um, my project folder. And as you can see, I'm going to choose um, my project folder. And I have, I have it listed here. I'm going to click on it and connect. So it gives us the default name. So I'm going to add our custom name. And the language will be Node.js. And the branch, we will leave it um, as it is, as main. And here, for you, it might be different. I mean, if you are using um, your Wood directory on your project, get a project get a project folder you will leave it empty but in my case as example i will deploy the deploy folder um, um which has the back end and front end folder also pay attention to the script the start the build the deploy as you can see um it it is inside the wood of the deploy folder okay and I give it uh, the path to backend, okay? And the path also to the distribution folder when we build um, uh, the project, our backend files. Okay? So the distribution folder is not, it's not mandatory, but I give it, I leave it as example for you because you we will need to build it again in, I mean, on render. So also pay attention on the deploy folder with the TS config file. As you can see, we give, we give the, the path also. And uh, so as you can see in the backend, uh, the TS config file in the backend file, which I'm um, using on localhost, uh, check also the configuration so that you can um, make the difference. Okay, and now, um, as uh, we have just said, I'm gonna use the, the deploy folder as my root directory. Okay.
and I will need to add uh, the build command. Um, first of all, we are going. We need to install the the dependencies and npm install and uh, npm one build. So in order to have our distribution folder inside the backend, I mean it will be. Uh, as you can see, um, when we want build, it will create the distribution for us. And after that, after we have the distribution folder, we are going to want to deploy it um, by wanting npm one deploy. So um, we are choosing um, the plan. We are going to add uh, the environment variables. And I've already showed you um, the name. Now, our node DNV will be production, which means we are going to use static files on render. Okay? Pay attention to that. And after that, the port. And I'm going to add uh, each and every single variables that I need in order to make my application work and as you can see i bring all my node um my environment variables and so i have everything um um set up and now let's deploy the web service And uh, for some of you, it might take um, um, some minutes to, I mean, a couple of minutes for some of you. And um, as you can see, we have some error with the dev dependencies. Uh, fortunately, um, we can solve this by add uh, dash, uh, just dash, dash include dev file, I mean, dev dependencies. And now we're gonna we are going to edit uh, the build command uh, in order to add uh, uh, the flag dash dash include dev and save. Okay, so it will run again. Okay, as you can see in the screen, uh, we have uh, everything was done successfully and uh, your service is live okay and server warning on port 8000 db connected and now let's copy um, the link and as you can see um, in the screen we have our full stack application warning. Okay, so we can go um, to the next page. We can filter. We can do anything, search. So, um, for your attention, I deploy also the build folder. Why I do that? I could build it on uh, on render itself, but I do that because. Um, on my experiences i don't have enough memory okay to um install and build the build folder right so um this is why and uh now um we are going to check our back end and uh as you can see um everything is working great Okay, so we have, uh, so as you can see, everything is working. So um, this is it, um, guys and girls. So I hope you like it. And if you do, please uh, 
smash the like button and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye